Hello, it's your favorite gardening, farming and DIY guy. I am Will and today we are just going to DIY building this full automatic 5000 egg capacity incubator. Watch this video to learn how to build your own incubator or just appreciate the skills, time and effort invested. Please consider sharing this video, like, comment, subscribe if you are new here, thank you if you are a returning subscriber and finally hit the notification button so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Now let's just DIY. First part of the incubator is the cabinet. I divided it between the egg turner and the engine room or control room. Because I couldn't find a hardboard or a hardwood plywood sheet at my local timber market, I ended up joining large timber posts. Avoid joining timber for sheets if you can as it can be very time consuming and expensive. You may also end up with warp or uneven surfaces due to timber not well treated or properly dried as this was in my case. This will form the doors of the incubator cabinet. This diagram shows the distribution of the incubator component and how we laid the wire lines. The controller board can also help you in distributing and laying your wires. Please use trunkings or PVC wall pipes to insulate your wires. Seek professional advice and support from a certified electrician if this is not your area of expertise. First we lay the wires and label them without connecting them to the components. This is because we couldn't finish all the work in one day and the incubator was not secured overnight. Once the wires were all laid, we insulated the cabinet with an insulation foil. This will prevent your machine from losing heat or humidity, as well as outside conditions influencing the conditions inside of your machine. I built and installed the incubator doors, starting with the machine room. prevent wood termites from eating into the cabinet and also give it a nice finishing, I covered the outside with vinyl sheets. Because the cabinet was warped on some parts, I put this metal frame on the front to help the doors close properly when installed. Adding a bit of finishing to the machine room doors before installing them. I installed wheels on the cabinet to allow easy moving and repositioning of the incubator. Finishing and installing the main incubator doors with vinyl sheets by applying adhesive on both surfaces to be joined.
installing the door handles and insulating the doors on the inside. I install glass doors to allow seeing through the incubator during operation. Note that your see through door glass don't have to be as large as mine. The external machine is arguably the most important part of your incubator and plays an integral role in how high or low your hatch rate will turn out. Its role is to simulate the mother hen's regular turning of the eggs during breeding. Its construction is the most difficult part of your machine and requires absolute precision. The egg tray seat is part of the egg turner machine and requires precision when building. This is where your egg trays will be sitting for the duration of the incubation period. This will form the part on which the egg tray seats will rest on. There are 22 pieces of these on which 11 egg tray seats will be mounted on. These are the two stands between which the egg tray seats will be arranged. Now we arrange the egg tray seats. This part follows after arranging all the 11 egg tray seats and permanently bracing them between the two stands. We line the egg tray seats horizontally with equal spacing and temporarily brace them with a metal bar while we weld the bolt and knots. This is done so we can connect all the tray seats for the turner motor to turn them simultaneously in the same direction. Spraying the egg turner to give it rust protection and fine finishing. Now that almost all the parts are complete, we installed the controller board and connected the wires. We used the XM18 controller for this machine. The wiring is very straightforward once you read and understand the manual.
This is a 500 watt heater rod we are using. To avoid direct contact with the insulation foil, I created and mounted this piece before installing. I installed four fans in the heater room to blow directly on the heater rod for rapid and better distribution of hot air. I ran out of insulation for us, so I had to get creative whilst I waited for new order to arrive. When installing the humidity rod, make sure the rod is positioned at the lowest part of your bowl. This will prevent the need to frequently fill up your bowl while your water is running low. The bowl should be well sealed to prevent leakage. Though not mandatory, I installed a fan in the humidity room to allow rapid distribution of vapor in the incubator. Once connected to your incubator with power, always ensure your humidity rod is completely submerged in water before turning on your machine. Now we mount the turner motor, connect the stopper, place the egg turner into the incubator before connecting the motor to the main wires leading to the controller board. We connect the main plug to a power source and turn on the incubator now that all parts are completely installed and connected. Final part of the incubator are the egg trays. I would caution against building one large egg tray for each egg tray seat if you are considering using my egg tray seat dimensions. I advise you build a minimum of two and a maximum of three trays for each level. This will reduce the weight put on each tray and the pressure put on the wire mesh when you load them with eggs. We set the incubator and test it for the first time. For the first 18 days of incubation, your temperature must be 37.5 degrees Celsius plus minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. Your humidity must be below 50% and your egg turner set to turn at least twice every 60 seconds. Make sure your egg tray is fully loaded with no large space in between which could cause your eggs to roll around during turning and result in damages caused to the eggs. During the incubation period, avoid opening your machine and only do so if absolutely needed.
On day 18, your temperature remains the same, but change your humidity from below 50% to 60-75% to and stop your turner. Day 18 is known as the lockdown period. The last three days of your incubation is crucial. Make sure your humidity bowl is full and keep an eye on it. Absolutely avoid opening your incubator. Now just wait for your chicks to start hatching. Often some of your chicks will start hatching from day 19 or 20 and your hatching could continue for 3 to 5 days after day 21. The hatch rate for the first test was over 85%. Please remember to share this and all of my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you are not and hit the notification bell for all of my exciting upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be uploading detailed videos on how I build the cabinet, the egg turner, the humidity bowl and other parts of the incubator. It's your favorite farming, gardening and DIY guy. I am Will and I am out.